it's done. It's official. August the 6th, 2022 in uh, Madison Square Garden. It's going to be in the big room on uh, Showtime pay-per-view. You're going to have Jake Paul taking on Tommy Fury here. In fact, this is what Tommy Fury had to say earlier um, today. Take your time out. Like the video. Subscribe. It is June the 23rd, 2022, 9.25 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Just to let you all know, the fight on August 6th is going ahead. The contract has been signed. After weeks and weeks of waiting for Jake Paul to sign up to the drug testing and potentially putting the fight at risk, he's finally signed up to the drug testing. We've agreed a contract that we're happy with, so the fight is going ahead, and I'll see you August 6th. Yeah, that's one thing I don't like. Um, Jake has got to make sure he keeps up with the drug testing for his fights because if he wants to be this pioneer and help him with the sport, you know, then him of all people should be doing, you know, the strictest, most stringent of drug testing. Now, highly unlikely it's going to be Vada, but hey, whatever the, you know, I really don't care. Honestly, I want to see the fight. Why is because this is going to be the first boxer, no matter how, you know, you may view uh, Tommy Fury, this is going to be the first boxer that he's actually fought. Here's Tommy Fury's uh, record here. Actually, this is Jake Paul, 5-0 and with four KOs. And I can't, for the life of me, like, are these, like, considered, like, sanctioned, sanctioned fights? Because box, box Rec is not known to post fights that are exhibitions. But these have been real boxing events, at least these last, what, one, two, three, all five. Like, this doesn't make sense. You mean to tell me this, this Gib dude you know, that's a that's a pro like debut. Nate Robinson, a basketball player. Like they were listed. Let me see. I mean, they, they got box wrecks. It's crazy to me. Like this is this is is it's a little out of control. Ben Askren, UFC fighter. He didn't beat up Tawan Woodley twice, knocked him out in the second. That was ugly. Here is uh Tommy Fury, eight and over four KOs. He's been babied. You know, but he still is only 23 years old and he still is just a prospect. But I still have to go with um, him to beat Jake Paul. But looking at how he's looked, you know, you can give Jake Paul a chance. But this is not the type of guy with his family that can go back home and be like, yeah, I lost to a YouTuber. You see what I'm saying? For example, here's what his father had to say yesterday. And it kind of put the pressure on um tommy fury to sign the contract here's what he said yesterday and then i'm gonna uh, show you what jake paul said for those who didn't see it america because all of us i'll be honest with you at the minute are suspended i'm banned for life i can't get to here at all tyson can't get over there because he's got a few issues at the moment what he's trying to sort out so tommy has got no team and here's what jake paul had to say yesterday um 20 hours ago actually you know so all of this went down within 24 hours or so I'm gonna let it play through. By the way, take the time out, like the video, subscribe. The links to my social media are down below in the description box. I'm T Street Controversy with 5 360. Yet again, I wake up this morning to another text from my manager saying that Tommy Fury is pulling out of the fight. We agreed to all of the terms. Everything is ready to go. We're 45 days away from the fight. We agreed to his $2 million purse. We agreed to Vada testing, extra flights, extra rooms extra tickets to the fight. We're scheduled to have a press conference next week in New York. His whole entire team was like, yeah, everything's good. We're signing the contract today, today. It kept on getting pushed. It kept on getting pushed till now. What's the excuse? Oh, I can't come and I can't do it because my dad can't be there with me during the fight. Well, Tommy, your dad has been banned from the United States for 15 years. You've known this the whole entire time. He's a criminal, he's not allowed in. When he fought Anthony Taylor in Cleveland, Neither Tyson nor your dad were there with you in your U.S. debut. And now all of a sudden you need your team with you? That doesn't make any fucking sense. I will agree to not have my team around me during the fight week. I will agree to not fight with my coaches in my corner. We could both fight solo, dolo, just like Devin Haney was going to do against George Cambosos. This is what real boxers do. This is what real boxers, they make fights fucking happen. You're scared. You claim you're a professional boxer, but you don't want to make the fight with me, who you've talked so much shit about, who you said you will spark, who you say I I'm nothing compared to you. Where's all that shit talk now, Tommy? You're a fucking atypical professional boxer who doesn't want to make this fight actually fucking happen. This is the biggest opportunity of your fucking life, and you're fumbling the fucking bag once again, and I can't believe how fucking stupid you are. Fucking idiot.
Well, once again, the fight is done. Um, less than 24 hours later, this was released on Jake Paul's uh, 30 minutes ago on Maya time. Okay, he grew a set overnight. It's official. I'm taking his little fury's head off. Matt Serrano and I duel in the main event at the Mecca of Boxing. Official press conference and ticket sale this Wednesday, June the 29th. It's three significant press conferences next week. For example, this Friday, actually tomorrow, my time, you got Canelo versus Golovkin three, the first press conference that's taking place in L.A. Then Monday, you have um, um, their New York. Canelo and Golovkin are going to be in New York on Monday for their New York press conference. On Wednesday, you have two press conferences. Um, Alexander Usyk versus Anthony Joshua two. That's going to be in London. And then you have this right here. Um, Jake Paul, Tommy Fury, and Amanda Serrano, Brenda, Brenda uh, Carabajal. Uh, this is going to be a Wednesday as well. So here's who is here's who Amanda Serrano was fighting off of losing to Katie Taylor. A uh, Brenda Carabajal, 18, 5, and 1, 9 KOs of Argentina. Um only names I know on here are Rose Volante. These names, I got to be honest, nothing's really ringing the bell. But I'm guessing this is going to be at what, 126? Is she going back down or is she going to make 130? Because this woman looks like, uh, I guess, a 130-pounder, 126-er. She's been fighting at 126 her last, you know, the last three years or so. But yeah, I'm all for it. You know, um... Like I said, I like Jake Paul. You know, I like, you know, that he's brought some excitement, you know, to the to the sport. But as far as Tommy Fury, I'm going to have to back Tommy Fury because he is a boxer. Now, let me tell you something. If this guy goes on to beat Tommy Fury, though, then he's going to be shooting up the stratosphere. And it's clear what his team are doing. You know, you can tell that they're trying to get him a ranking, you know, but now he, I don't think he's going to be fighting too many exhibitions unless it's worth any money. I mean, yeah, you have the Nate Diaz fight. That's probably out there, you know, that they can explore because um, Nick Diaz is not. It looks like he's going to be released from the UFC soon if they don't get him a fight, according to Dana White. But um, he's also been losing all of his fights. But him versus Jake Paul would be a massive fight. And maybe they would be able to squeeze that in, you know, December of this year or, you know, uh, January or so, February, depending, you know, on how Jake does against Tommy Fury. But this kid's definitely got a lot of money, you know, riding on him in the sport. So take your time out, like the video, subscribe and history controversy with Fight View 360. We will be here on Wednesday streaming the press conference live. And I got to I, I just, you know, I used to go to these things. I used to frequent all of the, all those media events in New York, but I just can't do it no more. I have, you know, I don't know if it's my social anxiety or whatever it is, but I just don't like going to New York. And then the gas is high and shit. I drive an SUV. So if I drive out there, it's going to be a mess, a chaotic mess. Then you got to park. It's extra when you got, when you got an SUV, it's just, you know, you get on the train. Now the train is what, you know, what it's going to be about $200 up and back. And I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, we'll see. Take your time out. Like the video, subscribe and teach you controversy with 5v360.